This question deals with a circle given by the equation x take 3 squared plus y take 2 squared equals 20. Now the centre of this circle is at the coordinate plus 3, comma, plus 2. It's always the numbers in the brackets with the signs changed. And the radius is just the square root of 20. So I'll leave that as a third. So we can state these. These are just facts from the equation of the circle. Now part 2 asks us to find where the circle intersects the x and the y-axis. Now then, the x-axis is where y equals 0. So if I let y equal 0, I get the following. x minus 3 squared. Now y is 0, so we get a minus 2. And minus 2 squared is 4. So I get a plus 4, and that must equal 20. I can then take away 4, so x minus 3 squared equals 16. I can then square root, so x minus 3 equals plus 4, or x minus 3 equals minus 4. So the circle intersects the x-axis when either x equals 4 plus 3, which is 7, or minus 4 plus 3, which is x equals minus 1. So these are the values where the circle intersects the x-axis. Now, the circle intersects the y-axis where x is 0. So if x is 0, minus 3 squared is 9. So 9 plus y minus 2 squared is 20. I now take away 9. So y minus 2 squared equals 11. I then square root. So y take 2 could be root 11. So therefore y equals root 11 plus 2. Or y take 2 equals minus root of 11. So therefore y equals minus root 11 plus 2. So these happen to be thirds rather than integers. However, we found the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates where the circle intersects the x and the y-axis. Now, in part 3, we're asked to show that two points actually lie on a circle. Now, these points lie on the circle if they satisfy the equation. So let's check this. So x is 1, y is 6. So 1 take 3 squared plus y is 6, 6 take 2 squared. 1 take 3 is minus 2, minus 2 squared is 4. So 4 plus 6 take 2 is 4, 4 squared is 16, this equals 20, as required. So point A lies on the circle. I'll then check for point B. So x is now 7, y is now 4. So 7 take 3 squared plus 4 take 2 squared. 7 take 3 is 4. 4 squared is 16. 4 take 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. That equals 20. So again, both coordinates, if they're subbed into the equation, equal 20. So therefore, these points must lie on the circle. Right then. To find the midpoint of these two coordinates, I need to find the average of the x-coordinate and the average of the y-coordinate. So I need to do 1 plus 7 is 8, half it is 4, and 6 plus 4 is 10, half it is Five. So the midpoint between A and B is the coordinate 4, 5. Now we're then asked to find the distance of the chord AB from the centre. And this is just the distance from the midpoint 
to the centre. So I must find the distance between this coordinate and that coordinate. Now we know that the general equation for a distance is given by the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, i.e. the difference between the x-coordinates squared plus the difference between the y-coordinates squared, all square rooted. So x2, take x1 is 1, so this is just 1 squared plus 5, take 2 is 3, plus 3 squared. Now 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9, 1 plus 9 is 10, so the distance is just a square root of 10.